Hello friends, in this video let's see about arrays. In arrays we can show many elements of same data type. So first I am doing a right click on the friend panel and on controls palette from data containers I am selecting an array and placing it on the friend panel. So an array block will also get added on the block diagram screen but this array block is black because it is undefined. So first we have to define this array by choosing the type of data type we are going to use in this array. Since I am going to use numeric data type, I am selecting a numeric control and placing it inside this array. So this array has become double position numeric array. And for storing multiple entries, arrays can be expanded both horizontally and vertically. I am expanding this array vertically. And on the block diagram screen, on the output terminal of the array control, if I do a right click and select create indicator, a numeric array indicator will get connected with as much rows or columns we have on the numeric array control. And now I am entering the values on the columns of the array control. And after entering the values, if I run the program, we will get the same values as output on the numeric array indicator in whichever positions we have entered the values on the numeric array control. So now we have seen only about single dimensional array. Next let's see about two dimensional arrays. So on this array control, I am doing a right click and if I click on add dimension, this single dimensional array will become two dimensional. And on the block diagram screen, the wire in between the array control and the array indicator has become broken because the array control is in two dimension but the array indicator is in single dimension. Since we cannot use this array indicator, we have to connect another array indicator suitable for this numeric control. So first I am deleting this broken lines and moving away this array indicator and then on the friend panel, I am expanding this array control to a required number of rows and columns. Then on the block diagram screen, I am doing a right click on the output terminal of this array control and then if I click on create indicator, a two dimensional array indicator suitable for this array control will get connected. And then on the friend panel, I am entering the values on the columns of the control. And if we run this program, we will get the same values in same position as output in the array indicator. Ok next let's see how can we use a for loop and a random number generator to generate random values and store it on an array. So first on the block diagram screen I am doing a right click and from structures I am selecting a for loop and placing it on the block diagram screen. And to the end terminal of this for loop I am connecting a constant and entering the value as 10 in it. And then inside this for loop I am placing a random number generator. And I am connecting this random number generator to the end of this for loop. So an auto index tunnel will get created on this end. And to this tunnel, I am connecting an indicator. This indicator is an array indicator. And on the friend panel, I am expanding the number of columns of the indicator. And now if I run this program, randomly 10 numbers will get generated and will be stored on the array indicator since we have given 10 on the number of loops terminal of this for loop and on the friend panel we can see all the randomly generated 10 values in the array for indicator so now we have seen only for single dimensional array next we can see for two dimensional array first i am doing all the steps as i did for single dimensional array i am placing a for loop to the number of loops terminal, I am giving 10 as input and I am placing a random number generator function inside this for loop and then I am connecting the random number generator to the end of this for loop and auto index channel has got created on this for loop but by doing so we can generate only a single dimensional array but we have to create a two dimensional array so we have to place this for loop inside another for loop and so I am placing another for loop around this for loop and to its end terminal also I am giving 10 as input and then I am connecting this auto index tunnel to the outer for loop so that another auto index tunnel will get created. And on this tunnel I am connecting an indicator. This indicator is also a two dimensional indicator. And on the front panel I am expanding the array indicator and if I run this program I am getting 100 random values in 10 rows and 10 columns. Since I have given 10 as input in the number of loops terminal of both the for loops, I am getting 10 cross 10 values. So thus we have created a two dimensional array. So according to the array size requirement, we have to give the input value to the number of loops terminal of the for loop. 
so in this video we have seen about array in our next video we can continue with another topic thanks for watching please subscribe and support thank you